Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, the Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Ford F-150 Lariat trim model. What this video is, it's not really a review, but it's uh, really to kind of go over the equipment, standard equipment, as well as optional equipment and packages that you can get on a Lariat truck. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and it will help you out when you go to order your truck. And now we're going to talk about the Lariat trim model. If you haven't had a chance yet, we do have a video similar to this on the XL and XLT that kind of goes over the standard and optional equipment. And soon we'll be having a video on the King Ranch and the Platinum Edition as well. So you can check those out. There should be links here uh, below to the XL and XLT uh, videos. And as we get the King Ranch, we'll add that to this video uh, in the future. Uh, so you get a good chance of looking at those. Now we're going to go ahead and start and talk about the uh, different options you can have in standard equipment on the uh, Lariat trim model. Now, first it comes in either two different cab styles, either the Super Cab or the Super Crew. So you cannot get a Lariat regular cab. Uh, if you're looking at that, you're going to need to stay at an XLT. Uh, also, you have two different bed sizes. You have in a Super Cab, you can get the six and a half foot bed, which we call the short bed, or the eight foot bed, which was what we call the long bed. Now, the Super Crew, you can get a five and a half foot bed, uh, and we'll refer to in the future of this video as the short bed for the Super Crew, or the long bed is the five and a, the six and a half foot bed uh, for you there. So those different cab styles and bed lengths that you can get. Also you're gonna come in two wheel drive or four wheel drive on all those different uh, configurations. Uh, and the engines that come with it, uh, this is gonna come uh, standard with the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Uh, now that is gonna be standard on all your two wheel drives, uh, no matter what size um, wheelbase that you get. Uh, and four wheel drive, short bed, uh, you're gonna, the 145 foot um, wheelbase, which would be your super cab short bed or super crew short bed, gets the, the same 2.7 liter uh, V6 EcoBoost engine. Now it has 325 horsepower and 375 foot pound of torque that'll tow up to 8,500 pounds. So that's like towing uh, roughly a trailer with a car, on, with another truck this size on it. So pretty good towing for uh, that V6 engine for you. A lot of, we've ordered a lot in that, that configuration. Now if you go to the longer wheelbase or the four wheel drive model uh, with the longer uh, wheelbase, then you're going to get the optional 5.0 liter V8 uh, natural aspirated engine and it's going to get you 385 horsepower and 387 foot pound of torque there uh, and it'll tow up to 11,100 pounds. So quite a bit more towing for you if you're looking for that. Now this one actually is the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine which is optional as well on all the different uh, cab styles and configurations and it's going to get you a little bit more. It's 365 horsepower, so a little less horsepower than the, than the V8, but it's going to get you 420 foot-pound of torque. So if you're looking for towing and you really need the maximum towing you can get, the uh, 3.5 liter is the way to go because it's going to get you 12,200 foot um, towing capacity for you as well. So. Also, they're all going to come standard with the uh, six-speed automatic transmission. It's a select shift transmission with tow haul mode, so that's going to be standard on all of them. Uh, so that kind of goes over uh, the engine and cab styles and everything uh, on the Lariat truck. Okay, let's cover the exterior of the vehicle now. We're going to go over the features that's standard on all your Lariat trucks. Now here at the front on your grill, you're going to have a chrome three-bar grill with the black mesh in between. Really distinguishes it from the XL XLT grill. Uh, and your upper King Ranch and Platinum and Limiteds as well, so you can see the difference there. Now, the grill will change a little bit, it depends on, the, there's a couple other packages you can get that could change the look of this a little bit, and we'll get into that just a little bit later in the video. Also, your, your bumpers, chrome front and back bumpers as well, and you see the tow hooks down here on these, they're black, uh, that's going to come in your 4x4 models, are going to get your front tow hooks, um, and you can get chrome tow hooks as we talk about the chrome package later. Now, your headlights, 
Standard, even on the XLT, which is really great, is automatic headlights. So they're gonna come on automatically for you as it gets dark. What's great about that too is when you turn your wipers on, it turns the headlights on, which is a, in Kansas, it's a law that if you are, you have your wipers on, you have to have your headlights on. Also comes with your fog lights as well, it's standard equipment on the Lariat, and that's carried over from even the XL, XLT, so. Your standard wheel on this one, 18 inch alloy wheel. Uh, you can get an optional 20 inch, and we'll talk about some other configurations with chrome wheels and everything as we go along, but the standard wheel is that 18 inch alloy wheel. The mirror has a lot of nice features. What I really like about these, uh, so many features are going here, you know, XLT you get your power heated glass, that kind of thing, but when you go to Lariat, you get a power fold mirror that's standard, so it's gonna electronically power fold in uh, and back out. Also, you're gonna have power heated glass, just like you uh, normally expect. Integrated blind spot mirror as well as standard features, so that angled uh, mirror, uh, so you can see those vehicles in your blind spot. Turn signal indicator here on the outside. Also, it's gonna have nice LED security approach lamp that's gonna light up the ground in front of you. And it's also gonna have a driver's side auto dimming rear view mirror, so really nice. Uh, and if we get inside, we'll show you it also has it on the, on the inside as well. So that's real nice, because at, at night, when those bright lights are hitting that, that mirror, then it's gonna dim it for you, so it's a real nice feature there as well. And we're gonna go over some other features as we go along with the mirrors when you upgrade to the luxury package and such, to get some other features that are really nice, I think you're gonna like. And one thing to, to remember also is the Lariat's gonna get you body colored mirror caps as well as all your handles. So not only your door handles, but your tailgate handles are gonna be the uh, body colored as well. So it really kind of makes it a little fancy. So the black and such, it's gonna um, dress it up that way. So you're gonna really like that. Now this and all Lariats come with the intelligent access that allows you with the, uh, I have the key fob here, uh, with the key fob in your pocket, hand, you know, purse even, whatever it might be. You have it on you, you just walk up, put your hand in the door handle, it's gonna unlock. As you can see, the security approach lamp turns on allow you to get in the vehicle, and then it has push button start to start the vehicle. Uh, and then when you get out, you can just put your hand on the door hand, the little knob there, and it's gonna lock it, never getting the keys out of your pocket, which is a really nice feature to have. Uh, comes in real handy. Also, it does have the keypad, so some people say, well, there's no need for a keypad then, is there? Well, if you wanna leave the keys inside, if you don't have pockets or something, you run into the store or somewhere else, you can leave the keys inside, lock it up with using the keypad here, and then you can use the code to get inside, which just comes in real handy. So some people do use that. Uh, now moving on along, we do have your privacy glass here on these back windows, as well as your back glass back here. And that back glass is also some nice features. It has rear defrost with power slide and rear window there. So some nice uh, features to go along with that. Now moving to the back, uh, you are gonna see, see the lights already up. Uh, standard on this, a rear view camera with the LED lighting that comes in real handy in the evening as you're backing up. And that rear view camera is going to also get the driver assist, um, the trailer backup assist. So it's going to put those uh, different lines in there and we'll get a picture of this uh, here coming up. And then uh, it has the dotted line so it can line up your hitch with the trailer that you're uh, trying to back up to if you want. So that comes in real handy. Also standard equipment is your trailer tow hitch coming with your four pin and your seven pin wiring and your smart connect. Your smart connect allows you to be able to program different trailers uh, and show you know, how far you've traveled with each trailer. And it'll kind of keep that information for you. So as you, you hook up to that trailer, you can put which trailer you're hooking up to and uh, it just really, it's a really nice little system to use. So I uh, really like that. Now looking in the back of the bed, A couple other features that are really nice here is your LED box lighting. So you just has a switch here and there's also a switch inside the truck that you can flip on. And it's gonna turn these lights here on. It really opens up and lights up the bed along with the, the cab light uh, to really be able to see everything in the evening time. So that's a really nice. And while we're here, we can also talk about the box link system. Uh, that's really nice because you can uh, use these for extra tie downs here. These can come off um, real nice. You can also put some um, the ramps in here as well, which is optional equipment on the on all the all your trucks. Uh, you can put that in there, and allows you to put ramps here on your the back of the the tailgate here. So it allows you to be able to you know load four wheelers and that kind of thing as well. So some great equipment here on the outside of this truck on the Lariat that I think you're really going to like. And now we're moving to the interior. Uh, what's really nice, a lot of people kind of go to Lariat for the leather leather seating surfaces, and that's what you get as standard uh, seating configuration is the leather seats. Uh, real nice leather seats here. And your standard seating configuration is this 40-20-40 split bench seat. Uh, as you're seeing here in this truck, uh, it does come with uh, the dual 
10-way power seats for driver and front passenger here, including your power lumbar, so that's a real nice system. Heated and cooled seats here as well for these outside seats. And then you're gonna also have driver memory for three different drivers that you can control over here with your power lock switch here. Uh, what's really nice about that. Something that people don't know about the middle uh, seat here is that you can lift it up and it has a little storage compartment under here and it has some more cup holders too that you can pull out and you can turn around. So real nice system that it locks in there so it won't, it won't bounce around and rattle on you. So it's a real nice system. And then you can also take this backrest, lay it down and you have two more cup holders as well as a nice uh, com little compartment to put things in as well. And some people uh, can put their cell phones there as well if you'd like, so it's uh, close to you. So real nice little uh, flexibility there for that seating and gives you the nice armrest like a console would. Uh, now you can get, there's an optional bucket seats with a console that we'll cover a little bit later and it is standard on some of the trims uh, as well. So we'll go through that. Now over here on the door, you do have your power windows locks, some mirror switches, and you have the auto one touch for your front window, so you can just press it and it's gonna go down automatically uh, for you. A real nice uh, system there. Power adjustable pedals are gonna bring those pedals uh, closer and further away. And, and to go along with that is your really nice leather wrapped, not only tilt steering wheel, but telescoping. And what I say is they kind of go together is that you're able to adjust your seat and your steering wheel to what feels comfortable for you on how far you are away from the steering wheel. And you can adjust those pedals for longer drivers or shorter drivers. So no matter what size uh, person you are, you're gonna be able to, to get the seat and the steering wheel and the pedals just where you want them. On the left side of the steering wheel, you do have your cruise control here. On the right side, you're gonna have your media controls. When I say media controls, I'm saying not only your audio controls here with the volume, as well as you can change some stations, presetting stations and such, but you can also uh, control your phone. It has Bluetooth, so it has a Microsoft Sync technology so that you can make and receive phone calls using the, the buttons here, which makes it really nice. You also have your 4x4. If you're a 4x4 model, you're going to have the 4x4 shift on the fly with the 4x4 automatic setting. Now, you do that is not available. The, the automatic setting is not available in your XL and XLT, so you have to have a Lariat or above to get automatic 4x4. So if that's I know some people have had a question about that in the past. So, also you also do a dual zone auto climate control. So, a driver, front passenger, you can have two different temperatures, uh, which is really nice. Comes in handy for you. Now uh, you have AM, FM, CD player as well here. Uh, really nice. What's so uh, great about this, even on Lariats, standard on all of them, is the new Sync 3. So that's your enhanced voice recognition and entertainment and communication system with your 911 assist. Uh, so a real nice system there and what comes with is an 80 inch uh, LCD screen here uh, so you're able to see everything really nicely and it comes with the swipe capabilities as well as your pinch to zoom so it's going to be a lot like your cell phone your smartphones anymore and that you can uh, you can swipe with it so it's really nice and easy to use if you haven't had a chance we do have a video on how to use the sync 3 system you can check that out on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash law MacArthur under our informational videos so you can check that out as well as uh, some other uh, nice videos there so it shows you how to use that come along with that you get the 8 inch uh, screen here in the productivity screen in your in your instrument cluster too which is really nice it has your towing hookup like I mentioned earlier with the smart towing and everything else like that as well as your trip odometer and some other your settings and features like that so you're gonna get that too go along with it to kind of help you communicate everything by keeping your hands on your on your finger uh, on the steering wheel here you can use your fingertips to control the your uh, controller here on the left side as well as your your bluetooth you can just do a lot of those enhanced enhanced voice communication systems so you can use those to tell it what to do so it comes in real handy including being able to tell it what climate you want stations you want including you know Sirius and, and such and uh, all those things so it's real nice and easy to use also with this uh, to finish this off, you have your mirror here is the auto dimming rear view mirror like I mentioned on the outside. And you also do get ambient lighting that lights up your foot wells as well as your um, compartments here in the door. Uh, really nice. And if you have the console, uh, bucket seat for the console, then you can they're going to light up your cup holders too. So it comes in real handy. Of course, you're going to have your wood trim on the doors as well and on uh, above the glove box there too. So really nice system. Uh, and really nice equipment. So that's how all the standard equipment on your Lariat truck. Now let's cover some of the other packages you can get on top of that. So now we've covered all the standard equipment on a Lariat. Now I want to talk about the different packages. Uh, what Ford likes to do is package some certain equipment into packaged 
uh, packages that they call the mid-level package, which is a 501A package, and the luxury package is a 502A package. So we're going to pull this truck in. Looks similar to the one we just had, but uh, it is the 501A, the mid-level package. I'm going to go over some of the equipment on that. But first, while we're talking, I mentioned the 20-inch wheel earlier. This actually is the 20-inch upgraded wheel that you can get uh, that's optional on the either a either standard Lariat or this 501A package like you're seeing here. Uh, so you can get that wheel. So just kind of want to show you what that looked like uh, real quick. Now some of the equipment that you get, uh, there's about five, six features that you get when you go to the 501A package. Something I forgot to mention earlier on the standard equipment on those, the mirror, there were so many things that went into it. That memory feature that I mentioned with the three different settings also uh, affects your mirror. So you're going to get that as well. Now when you go to the 501A package, the mirror gets upgraded quite a bit. Uh, one of the things you're going to see is the uh, security approach lamps are going to be high intensity security approach lamps um, and it really brightens it up a lot more uh, than, the, than the standard equipment does. So that's, that's real nice. It lightens it up more, more and more. Also, uh, these turn signal indicators also will double as a LED spotlights. So we're going to hopefully right here you should be able to see what these spotlights look like. Uh, when you turn those on either side, they're going to brighten up the side of the, the field or whatever you might be looking for uh, or the yard, whatever it might be. So they could come in handy and really uh, be something if you're needing to work in the evening on a project or something, you could use your truck to kind of give you some lighting there. Also, you're going to have standard equipment is your Bliss. That's Ford's blind spot monitoring system. So it's going to emit a little light in that corner uh, right there when there's someone that's in your blind spot. Comes in real handy as you're driving along the, uh, it, even, even in the city or highway and there's someone in your blind spot. So if you want to turn, uh, it's going to let you know that there's someone there. Go along with that is your, what they call tra cross traffic alert. So as you're backing up, maybe out of a parking lot, something like that, and you can't see those blind spots as you're backing up. It's going to let you know that if there's someone in that blind spot that's about ready to be right behind you as you're backing up. Uh, real nice system. Uh, I know it saved me a couple times in backing into somebody. Uh, so I, I think it's a very nice safety feature for you. A couple other features that go along with your intelligent access is your remote start system. So that allows you to, in the wintertime, be able to start your car from inside the house and that kind of thing. So it's a real nice system. I think you're going to like that right there on the key fob uh, as well. So you're going to have that. To go along with your rear view camera, another thing that you're going to get is your reverse sensing. So standard on the Lariat trim is your rear view camera, but the 501A package gives you the reverse sensing as well. So it's going to let you know as you're backing up if there's somebody behind you with those tones. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. A couple other features uh, that I want to kind of go over on the inside and show you another optional equipment and optional feature seating configuration. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump inside for that. The first thing you can notice right away is the optional uh, equipment here for the seating configuration. I mentioned earlier about the bucket seats with the big console. That's what you're seeing here. I uh, really like this system. It, it does bring your shifter from the, uh, the column here down to the console, as you can see, uh, real nice. Also gives you a nice uh, big compartment up here, and that's where you're going to have your two uh, smart connectors for your sync system, your sync 3 system down there, uh, and you're going to get another uh, power point down there. Uh, the big console, you can also get a power point in there and then a power point behind the console. So lots of power points here and of course you're going to have standard on it is having one up here. Now if you get the 110 outlet, which is actually part of that 501A package, it gives you an actual outlet here as well as one behind the console with your power point. It's going to look a little similar to this uh, behind the console. Uh, so that allows you to use a laptop, uh, maybe even a cell phone to charge a little bit faster. So. A real nice configuration. So, uh, it's, again, optional seating configuration here for the 500 or 501A package. So, your standard Lariat or the package we're talking about right now, you can get this as optional equipment. It becomes standard in the next package we're going to talk about next here. Uh, last equipment uh, that you want to think about that comes from the inside is your universal garage door openers. That's three different uh, buttons up here that you can control or set for different garage doors, gates, those kind of things. Anything that would be a transmitter that you normally have on your visor. Really, it's nice. It, it keeps that um, those garage openers from your visors, and not have to have them there. Um, so that way, when you flip it down, this, those don't fall down on you and such. Uh, real nice uh, to have there. So, also, you'll notice I mentioned earlier the ambient lighting. You also, when you go to the console, you get that the ambient lighting that also lights up the cup holders just like it does here. So, um, hopefully, that, that covers all the things on the 501A package. Let's go ahead and uh, jump back outside and show you. Uh, we're going to pull in a 502A package, a luxury package truck, and show you what comes standard on that. 
And now we've covered the mid-level package and your base package. Now we're going to move up to the 502A package, also called the luxury package. Uh, that's where a lot of our trucks are. A lot of people that get a Lariat go ahead and pay a little extra, get the luxury features because they are so, so much nicer. Uh, and in fact, most of what we order when we try to keep for an inventory, about half of our Lariats are the luxury package. So I'm going to cover some of those equipment features. Uh, now what you're seeing on this, uh, just briefly before we get to those, uh, that equipment is, you'll notice these bumpers are in the uh, uh, different color bumper here. This is the two-tone package, so that is optional on any of the trim levels that you get. And when you uh, get that, your chrome bumpers end up being the uh, accent color as well as your um, wheel lip moldings in the side and going down the side. So um, you have that. So I kind of want to give you a good idea what that looks like while we're going through these equipment options here. Now, one of the big features on the luxury package is you get the chrome package as standard equipment. Now, as we're talking, uh, some of the optional packages you can get, uh, the chrome package is one of them. So what I'm about ready to talk to you about on the chrome package, you can actually get as a standalone option on your base model or your 501A package. So keep that in mind. So your chrome package comes with the three bar grill, chrome grill like you have on the Lariat with the chrome surround. We also have chrome inserts here on the, on the the mesh insert as well uh, really kind of dresses it up and gives it that pop of that that chrome there in the front for you. And you'll notice your chrome tow hooks on your 4x4 models as well. So, uh, and to come around, you're also going to have your chrome wheels. Yeah, these are the standard wheel on the chrome package is your 18s, but you can elect to go for the optional 20 inch chrome wheels if you want, and uh, um, so you can. That's always an option for you. You're also going to get chrome mirror caps as well as chrome door handles with body colored uh, bezel on them and your tailgate handles are going to be chrome as well and then you're going to get chrome running boards here down the side. So that's all part of that, uh, that chrome package for you. Really dresses it up, makes it look more uh, luxurious, uh, especially with these chrome mirrors and door handles for you. Uh, so and again, normally you'd have your chrome bumpers to go along with that if you don't elect to go with the two-tone. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the chrome package and again, it's standard, the chrome package is standard on the 502A package, but it also is optional on the 500 or 501A if you want to get that, so keep that in mind. And now also coming uh, back a little bit, the only other exterior feature on the luxury package that, uh, that you, when you go to that package is your headlights change a little bit. You get a quad beam LED headlight with LED tail lights, and then you're also going to get uh, to go along with that feature is auto high beam for you, so you can have it set to where uh, when you're driving on the road, there's no cars coming at you, it automatically turns them on for you. And to go along with that is your rain sensing wipers. So if it's uh, raining for you, they're going to automatically come on for you. So that's a real nice feature as well for you. So there's a lot of features on the luxury package that are on the inside that I think you're really going to enjoy. So let's go ahead and go in there and go over those things. Okay, the other features you get when you get, go to the luxury package on the inside here is, uh, like I just mentioned earlier, is front bucket seats with the console being the standard seating configuration for the luxury package. So if you really need that bent seat, you're probably going to need to go with the 501A package and add some of these other features we've been mentioning, I like the chrome package and such, if you like that, too, as your standalone options, uh, so if you want that. So keep that in mind. So bucket seats with the console here. To go along with that, you get rear heated seats in the back, and you're going to get a heated steering wheel. It so really upgrades the heated and cooled seats to uh, grabbing uh, the other uh, occupants, uh, the heated seats, and then the heated steering wheel. To go along with the steering wheel uh, configuration, you're going to get power tilt and telescoping. So not only manually will it go up and down, forward and back, now you can do it electronically. Comes in handy, a uh, real nice uh, feature to have that's, uh, like I mentioned, like I'm showing it now, it's uh, able to move it forward and back for you uh, real nicely. Uh, to add to that, you're going to get Sony audio sound system. And to go along with your SYNC 3, you're going to get the navigation system, uh, which comes in real handy as well. So you're going to have that too. So, uh, so hopefully uh, that kind of helps you get a good idea of which of these packages you want. Uh, now what I want to do is cover some of the optional equipment you can get when you uh, on that are standalone options on many of the different trim levels. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and cover those next. Now before we get to any standalone options, I want to talk about a couple packages that you get. And we don't typically uh, order trucks in these packages because usually when people want a Lariat truck, they want the chrome features and the chrome look. Uh, so we do, uh, we, that's why we like the 502A package. Uh, but some of the history of the, the F-150 is in previous model years, 14 and such, you could get a STX trim level and an FX4 trim level. Uh, they took those away uh, and just kept it to your XL, XLT, Lariat, um, Platinum, and King Ranch. There's already enough there. 
uh, in, your, in your Limited this year. But what they did is allowed you to still have those types of look on these other trucks, but enable you to do that on any of them. So instead of having an STX and not being able to get some of those nicer features, now you can take a Lariat and have it a sport look like an STX on the outside. Uh, so I am going to kind of go over, I don't have one with the sport package on it, but I'm going to go over the differences and what you'd see. And mainly where you see your chrome accents is what you're going to see your, your sport package. And so instead of having like a, a chrome grill here, like you're seeing three bar grill, it's going to be your accent color. So, uh, you know, like this the accent color would be this dark brown. You're going to have that. And so you're going to have body colored bumpers instead of these, these dark ones. Body colored bumper, so in this case it'd be green with maybe the brown accent on your grill here for you. And you're gonna have black mesh, so you won't have those chrome accents in the, me in the grill insert mesh in there. Um, also, to go along with that, instead of your chrome wheel like you're seeing, you're gonna have an 18 inch um, a machined alloy wheel with some uh, accent colored pockets, or I think it may be even black pockets on it. Uh, so it kind of a little, little different wheel, sport wheel for you. Uh, there as well. And your runner boards down the side are going to be the accent color. So like again in this case you'd have that that brown would be the, the color in there as well. And then your mirror caps aren't going to have the chrome. They'll be body colored there and then your door handles would be back to your body color as well. So uh, kind of a sport look uh, to it. Now the, there is a special edition package and that kind of makes it look like the, you know, the FX4. They had that appearance package in FX4. So if you want that special edition package to look like that uh, that's what you'd want to get. So in the front, your grill is, then you're going to go back to a uh, dark tarnished grill here instead of your accent color, as well as the surround here. And you're going to have some red accents on it as well. And I can't remember if they're on the outside or if they're in the inserts. And then your housing, your headlight housing is going to be dark as well uh, for you. So it kind of really dresses that up. Now your bumpers, I believe, uh, also are going to be body colored. You're going to just change some of the sport package uh, things for you. And your wheel is going to be a tarnished uh, dark alloy wheel uh, that looks really nice and really sharp. You're also going to have some F-150 um, um, badging accents also on the tailgate too that's going to have some red accent to it that looks real sharp. And then your running boards are going to be black uh, for you and then of course body colored uh, mirror caps. Now on the inside they're going to add on that special edition package you're going to get some red accents to your seats as well and the console covers and your steering wheel so it really looks nice. Uh, so again, we don't order too many in those two packages because most people want a Lariat do want the Chrome package. So uh, just have a little information there. Okay, I want to go over a couple things if you're towing and want to keep some, something in mind when you're towing, a couple packages to, that you want to think about. Now Lariat does come standard with your trailer, uh, class 4 trailer hitch coming with your wiring and uh, the smart connector and everything. So when you want to tow a little bit more, you do want to get the trailer tow package. Uh, now what that package gives you in addition to the hitch receiver and, and those things is it's going to give you that auxiliary transmission oil cooler as well as the front stabilizer bar and your pro uh, backup assist, uh, the trailer backup assist system which is new for 2016. Those are going to come with that trailer tow package. Uh, to go along with that is your max trailer tow package uh, and that's really uh, a great package to get. Now keep in mind if you want the max trailer tow package you're looking to tow the most you can so you're going to have to go with an EcoBoost engine. So you have to get that 3.5 EcoBoost to get the max trailer tow package and it's going to add not only the uh, the tow package features you're also going to get a rear upgraded rear bumper to go along with that. Now something to keep in mind is when you get the max trailer tow package in the past you've got the max trailer tow mirrors that's those uh, bigger mirrors. Uh, that's a standalone option. So keep that in mind if you do want the max trailer tow package and you want those, you can, you, it's going to come standard with these mirrors. But if you want the uh, other mirrors, you can add and get the trailer tow mirrors and it's going to have all the same power fold features, heated uh, glass, all the same features as you'd see on this with just the, those bigger mirrors. So if you're, if you're wanting that, uh, that's an optional equipment. Don't forget about that. Another thing to think about is your FX4 off-road package. Uh, that is, uh, of course, on any, any vehicle you can get. Basically what that's giving you is those skid plates underneath uh, your engine, uh, your fuel tank and such, uh, and differential. It's going to protect those for you and give you those decals as well. And it's going to give you an uh, off-road uh, tuned suspension as well. So those are some of the things when you think about towing and off-road and that kind of thing, those you, a package you want to keep in mind. Another package that you want to think about that comes with two different options together in the package 
is your technology package. And that gives you the 360 degree camera. So not only are you gonna have your camera in the back, you're gonna have one on the grill, and they're gonna put one on each of these mirrors. And so you can see completely around you. Uh, and that camera goes out pretty far here, and you're gonna be able to see on all sides of the vehicle, which is, uh, comes in real nicely. It's gonna show up on that, that nice Sync 3 screen uh, in the center stack there. Half of it's gonna be your backup um, right behind you. The other half is gonna be a 30, 360 degree uh, view around the vehicle. So it is really looking like you're looking from up above. So it's a great uh, system to have to go along with the technology package. You get the lane keeping as well. So when you're going down the highway, it's gonna allow you to stay in your lane. It's using the sensors and the cameras from the front to uh, keep you in your in your lane and it kind of bumps you back in and, and keep you going there. So real nice system. Uh, I really like that and that works really well when you're driving down the highway. So uh, some other standalone options uh, we're gonna cover here in just a second. Okay, I wanna go over uh, some standalone options. Now keep in mind there's some things that are available on that the luxury package that are standalone options on your 500A package like reverse sensing, uh, like the LED spotlights. Some of those features are available on some of the, uh, the 500 and 501A package. So keep that in mind. So you might wanna look at that if you'd like a couple features but maybe you don't want the whole package and wanna spend the money on them. Uh, do some looking as you, uh, you can always contact us and we can go over that with you. Uh, you can also on our website, you can build a vehicle and when you go through and, and do the 500A and, and then it'll show you what optional equipment are available and it'll show those options on there. So keep that in mind for you uh, so we talk about things. Now some other standalone options on the 500A package uh, you can get and I think even the 501A package your running board options that you can have as a running board like this. So you can go with the chrome step bars uh, if you want. If you want the 500A package then you can add the chrome running boards. Another uh, Standalone option on the 502A package, a luxury package, if you want a little bit different running board, you can get the power deployable running boards that tuck underneath, and they're gonna, when you open the doors, they're gonna kick down for you, uh, which comes in real nice and handy. It looks real good when they're tucked up, up underneath as well. So there's a couple of different options on your running boards. A couple other things on the truck bed itself. On the side, if you have the Super Crew long bed or your any of your Super Cab features, you can get the side step um, and that's really nice, the box side step I think is what they call it. And it's, it's gonna have a little lever, a little button on it, and you just kick and it's gonna deploy down. And you can step on it and be able to get into the back of the, the, the uh, bed back here for you and then you can just push it and it'll lock back into place. So that's a, that's a feature that you can get, it's a standalone option as well. Something I wanna show you on the back that's a standalone option a lot of people like and it's changed a little bit since 14. I did cover this in my fifth, 2015 video. And that is uh, back here in the back is your tailgate step is no longer on the tailgate, uh, but in 2015 it's been moved to the back back here. You just uh, press the button and it's kind of kicked down nice and easy. And I like that it's uh, in there so that way it doesn't take away from the, the bed itself and then the, uh, the handle comes up as well. So real nice and easy to get to and then everything's labeled. Uh, you know, with your numbers, you have number one, so press that button and then you press the two, so real nice and easy. So real nice and easy to use. And, and something that I didn't mention earlier on that, you know, the remote start for the luxury package, that also includes, and your, it includes a release for your tailgate too, so it's a power tailgate release and that's on your, your uh, 502A package, so that's a, that's a nice thing to have too. So. Um, Couple other features are standalone options. If you want navigation, but you don't want to go to the 502A package, that's a standalone option on your um, base model uh, Lariat as well as your 501A package. And then your moonroof configurations. Don't want to be, forget about moonroof. If you have a super cab, you can get a moonroof. If you have the super crew, you can get the dual panel moonroof, which uh, has those panels over both the front and the back passenger seating and shade that covers that up. So that's a real nice option to have. I mentioned earlier two-tone, your bucket seats on some of the other models, also standalone options. Uh, so I think I've covered everything. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, but if you're looking at this video, I really hope that this gave you some information on how you want to equip your Lariat truck. And if you have any questions whatsoever, that's what I'm here for. Uh, I'm, I'm, if I don't have the answer, I will look it up. I can get access to that and I don't have a problem doing that for you. So. Hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait until you get your new F-150 Lariat.